Denise, thank you much. Okay. Census numbers and your supermarket have a lot in common. About one in three people in America are in a minority group. The largest is the Hispanic population living largely in California. As food coach Lori Corbin shows us, we are seeing an influx of new foods filling store shelves. Southern California has always had its fair share of Mexican eateries. But with 13 million Latinos living in California, there's a growing need for products geared just for them. I do have these ties to my culture, and this actually makes it a lot easier. Third generation Mexican American Mari Bet uses tried and true brands like Juanita's, La Victoria, and El Tapatio, but now notices an influx of companies vying for her attention. Old Gringo for sure, never heard of that. Mrs. Renfro's. Uh, Emerald is now getting into the Latin game with his salsa. Along with items never made in Mexico, like mango, pineapple, or peach salsa. Yet a bonus for those interested in trying unusual cuisine. Now I can come buy a little jar of mole sauce, simmer some chicken, put it in there, and I'm good to go. I've got an authentic Mexican meal. Hispanics, the fastest growing minority group, are flexing their purchasing power. The U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis figures estimate Latinos spent $768 billion in 2005 and rising. No surprise, manufacturers are filling store shelves with foods and flavors geared to this demographic. Even Whole Foods Markets, known for its premium brands, has just put in a churrascaria and a taqueria in their El Segundo store, featuring rotisserie-style meats and made-to-order burritos, tacos, enchiladas. What we're noticing more is that the importance of the Latino communities. Whole Foods' Tina Schlesinger says Brazilian meats to Spanish pupusas, they offer foods from a variety of Latin cultures. We have um, beef and chicken uh, vegan empanadas, and they taste delicious along with healthy updates on the tried and true. Different types of tofu, like soy viso. Have you ever tried that? Delicious. <laughs> Imported or merely an American mimic, many embrace the comforts of home. Well, when grandma makes it, it always is better, but very close, very close. Lori Corbin, ABC7 Eyewitness News.